nonprofit organization that provides help for police officers. It is scheduled for next Sunday. Ian Schwartz joins us now with a look at weather. Had some snow. I just stepped outside. Uh, it's snowing. Definitely. Is it snowing? Really? Well, I'm not surprised. I don't yeah, want to be too surprised. But, uh, but yeah, we got a nice little band over the city. Let's take a look at uh, this is the big eye cam. You can kind of make out some snowflakes here and there. It's a little tough to see. Oh, there's one. <laughs> we got some reports of some snow as well in the heights. We'll see some light accumulation. We're not talking a lot. A half inch would be nice out of this. But as we take a look, there you can see uh, that band right now making its way over the Big Eye and into the Heights. Could see some tricky spots along I-25. So please be careful if you're traveling from here to Santa Fe this Sunday morning. Also starting to see those snow showers approach the Santa Fe area. As we look to the north and the west, this is where we're going to see some of our best snow in the southern San Juans of New Mexico and especially in areas like Wolf Creek where we could see see 10, 15 inches plus of snow. Durango as well, already snow on the ground and more expected throughout the day today. As far as southwest New Mexico goes, we're looking at a mix of rain and snow right now, maybe even some sleet mixed in there. And we're going to change over to mainly rain, which will be fairly warm in Silver City to get a whole lot of snow going. But we're right on the edge right now. Nice snow coverage going on in Lovington, Tatum, and then making its way to the north and the east. We're expecting more snow for areas like Roswell and freezing rain possible. It could be very tricky out on the roads had a report of some freezing rain in Artesia just takes a little bit of a glaze on the surface to create some very dangerous driving so please be careful if you're in the southeastern part of the state for today and also slick roads throughout the state where we're going to see snow so let's take a look at our time lapse or our hour by hour what you can expect in Albuquerque snow showers this morning change, changing it over to rain this afternoon maybe even snow again later on in the evening a mix of rain and snow we're not talking a lot of accumulation here seven six seven AM. We're going to pick things up. We get the clock rolling, seeing those snow showers advance. This is 12 PM. More activity closer to Tucumcari. Could see problems on I-40. Uh, snow does start to accumulate, so keep that in mind. A mix of rain and snow in the northwest. Even some lightning embedded in some of these storms. So if a clap of thunder, if you hear that, don't be too surprised. That is possible uh, this evening. 5 p.m., we're still seeing a lot of that activity in the northwestern part of the state and also those rain showers in the south. Plenty of cloud cover throughout the state. It's going to be a very gloomy day today. Starting to see things break up as we get into the late evening hours. This is 10 p.m. Still our focus in the northwestern part of the state and thinning out in the overnight hours. Monday 8, 8 a.m. Still hanging on to some snow showers. And another system impacts the state Tuesday and that'll um, favor the northwestern part of the state. As far as what to expect, three to five inches below 7,500 feet, four to eight above 7,500 feet, and then one to three possible in the southeastern part of the state. Other areas picking up light accumulation, but nothing significant. Temperatures, it's cold out there. Only 22 in Tucumcari, 18 in Las Vegas, 27 in the Duke City. East winds aren't too bad, so allowing those snow showers to develop, sometimes they just blow them right out of the city and create that kind of snow shadow effect. Cloudy snow, heavy at times in southern Colorado. Please be careful on the roads here. Durango, Pagosa Springs could be a little tricky, and we're going to continue with the snowy weather well into the start and middle of next week. For the four corners, cloudy, rain showers, even a clap of thunder possible, some light accumulation expected, better coverage for areas like Dulce and Shama, and into the southern San Juans and Jemez, and then we'll have some snow showers possible and rain showers pretty much uh, into the middle and end of the week. 52 in Socorro, 46 in Silver City. Mountain snow possible, mainly rain though. Could see some sleet and snow mixed in there, even some thunder and lightning possible. Southeast New Mexico, anywhere from three to four or five inches possible in areas of the Sacramento Mountains. Other areas, one to three. Could see snow, sleet, ice on the roads in the Roswell area. It's going to be cold today, only 32 in Lovington. And then we'll start to warm things up for the start of the week. Dramatic warm up, actually. 46 in Raton, 44 in Las Vegas. Not our favorite area for snow here, but we could see snow showers in the northern mountains. Snow and possibly even a thunderstorm, even rain mixed in there. Some accumulation possible, better coverage closer to Colorado. And then snow showers stay in the forecast to start the week. In the East Mountains, rainy, even some snow, snow going on now, and then some rain for later on. Cloudy condition throughout the day. And then in the Duke City, Snow showers going on right now, starting to enter the Northeast Heights and accumulate in the Northeast Heights. Seeing a report from uh, John Smith, meteorologist John Smith was saying it's snowing nicely in the Heights. 
but we are going to change over to the rain. Our high is going to be 52 degree, 50 degrees today, and then a 52 high for tomorrow. And then we got a shot of precipitation pretty much each day to start the week. And of course, you'll be watching the storm all day long. Absolutely. Coming back at 5:30 as mm -hmm. well. I have all the details you need. Great. Thank you so much, Ian. Mm -hmm. And if you're looking for some events going on around New.